this video we're going to cover adding tools that we used to have in Mastercam previous versions X7 and before. Shown on the screen here you can see in the upper left hand corner we had a simple icon to do simple communications. Well as of X8 this has changed. If you're familiar with Simcoe products you'll notice that we now have Simcoe as our default editor. So what we're going to do in this video is show you an icon option by adding a C hook to our system for X8 that will give us the options to be able to have quick communications without actually having to open our Simcoe editor every time we want to send or receive a program. So now as you can see we are in Mastercam X8. So showing up here in the upper left hand corner in our toolbar here you'll notice that that icon shown in the X7 preview shot for communications is no longer there. And if we go into our settings and look at our configuration, we go to communications, you'll see in this case that communications is Simcoe DNC. And then this is also where you would go ahead and set up your external communications configuration. And you would also want to be able to open up the editor and be able to do your communications but there is no simple button anymore so we'd like to be able to give you an option to be able to add icons for launching and sending and receiving of your Mastercam programs. Now let's look and see how we can go ahead and add the options for our DNC communications icon buttons inside of Mastercam. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Windows E key. It'll take me out to my Windows Explorer and I need to go find these drivers or DLLs as we'll call them. So I'm going to go to my Synco folder, software. I have X8 tools is where I've loaded them. Launch Simco. I have two files here, a DLL and an FT these will need to be copied so I'll select those, I'll right click and I'll copy and I'll go over to my C drive because what I'm looking for under my program files is Mastercam's X8 folder inside we'll see C hooks here shown I want to right click and paste these into here when you're prompted go ahead and say yes in some cases you may or may not be prompted you can see now the two files are loaded. What we're going to need to do now is restart our Mastercam. So I'm going to go ahead and close our Mastercam. I'll restart it. Now let's look about adding those icons. Of course they're not going to automatically be added. I'm going to add them to the same location that you saw in that preview shot of X7 being under the file option here. So I'm going to come over here to the gray area here and I'm going to right click and say customize. Under customize I'm going to go over here to the category I'm going to scroll down until I find Nethook. You'll see now that we have Simcoe Editor, Simcoe DNC Send, Simcoe DNC Receive, and our machine setup. So I'd like to add those to this toolbar up here in the upper left hand corner, just like you saw it in our preview of X7 to the file toolbar. So you can see right here, we can see the file toolbar is kind of highlighted. I'm going to expand that out. And you can see these are the options that are underneath it. So I'm going to select that last one right here. It says preview underneath there. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select. And I'm going to hold the shift key down so I can grab all four options on that. And I'm going to go ahead and say add. You'll see it puts them right underneath there. I'm going to go ahead and apply that say OK. And you'll notice our toolbar now has those icons and options. Let's go ahead and pull those out. Spread that out a little bit. 
and we can see that when we highlight we got the editor send receive and set up so let's take a look and see what do these options do for us I'll go ahead and put this toolbar back right there I'm gonna go ahead and hit Simcoe editor what that's gonna go ahead and do is you'll see here is launch the Simcoe editor right inside our windows so if we want to make any modifications open or send and receive it in that way we can but you're not going to always want to do that so that gives you the option here for example is to go Simcoe send so when you launch that it automatically opens up looking for programs so in this case I'm going to look to see if I can find something real quickly here for the program there we go select that program and you'll see it starts to communicate it'll let you know when you're done so you don't have to have the whole editor open anytime you can just do simple communications go ahead and stop that and you have the same options with receive so in this case it's waiting and you'll be able to go ahead and send the program from the machine and at the end save that and then save it to a specific directory of course you're gonna to have to have the tools to be able to set up your communications so that's with the fourth icon so you really don't even have to have this last icon because that can be handled in the inside of the configuration but having that option doesn't hurt so in here is where you'll go ahead and set up and set up your communications any of the ports your transmit your receive where the directories are going to be for loading and receiving and what version of the Simcoe that's inside Mastercam. I hope you find this to be a useful tool in your communications every day with Mastercam X8. I'm going to go ahead and post the link at the end of this video where you'll be able to download the C hooks or in this case they're called net hooks these days to add to your mastercam directory so that you can add this option i hope you find this helpful thank you